G'day one world fly squad, welcome back to another first day trade report. I'm at Shanghai Pudong Satellite Terminal, the domestic side. I just arrived from Harbin on China Eastern A320 NEO. Now I'm going to connect onwards on China Eastern again, Airbus A330 to Singapore, an international flight. So I'll have to look for the immigration and security again. Now without further ado, let's go. It's 10 to 9 at Shanghai Pudong Airport, and it's certainly not hassling and bustling here. For those transferring from domestic to international, there are transfer points at both the main and satellite buildings. We're currently at the satellite building, and our flight to Singapore will depart from this satellite building as well, so it's supposed to be a very easy process. Unfortunately, the transfer point is not open, so we have to make our way to the main terminal to go through immigration and security. It takes about 10 minutes to get to the main building and then it's a really long wait for the immigration. I was quite surprised how many foreigners are here. So that and security took half an hour. Now on our way back to the train station to catch the train back to the satellite building. I've got Delta Airlines Gold Status, which is SkyTeam Elite Plus, and that allows me access to the China Eastern Lounge before my flight. At the satellite building, they do have a lounge called 137. It's a massive lounge, plenty of space. It's a relatively new lounge as well, probably their flagship lounge across their network. The lounge features a lot of things like a bar, several shower rooms, an outdoor terrace, buffet, and also a noodle bar. This video was taken back in September 2023. I also paid a visit to this lounge in June 2023 when I flew Shanghai Airlines to Melbourne. And within the three months, the number of travellers have increased significantly, especially internationally from China. So the lounge was a lot busier as well compared to June. However, still plenty of seats. It wasn't hard to look for one. I just got myself a bowl of noodle from the noodle bar. Now I'm picking ingredients to add to my noodle. For buffet, there's a salad bar featuring fruit as well. For hot food, they've got a range of western and eastern food including pasta, fried rice, stir fry veggie and dim sum. I would say the food is pretty good, not the most amazing lounge food. More so it's like comfort food, but you've got lots of choices. Before my red-eye flight to Singapore, I decided to take a shower. I got the very same shower suite three months ago. This bathroom is massive, it features a wardrobe and plenty of floor space, I can open my carry-on easily. It's so big, I wish they had a bathtub here as well. So here you'll find some amenities like cotton buds, a paper cup and toothbrush toothpaste. You'll find a tiny little chair here, hair dryer and a close-up mirror. So as you can probably tell, it's not a very luxury bathroom, but I really enjoy the space and amenities. You've got slippers and towels. The toilet is one of those Japanese B-Day toilets. You'll find buttons here to wash your bum and water pressure. And once you get close, it opens automatically. You've got a shower space here, including a rain shower. For the shampoo and body soap, they give you Lux and VS Sassoon, brands that you'll find in a supermarket. So again, not the most luxury product you'll find. Like in Cathay, you'll find Aesop or Bamford, but it does the job. And at the end of the day, China Eastern is not a five-star airline. So I just had a shower, and before we go, I'm gonna have another feast. Flights to Denpasar, Cebu and Manila have been delayed due to a super strong typhoon near the Philippines and Hong Kong. Singapore is a bit off the roadmap for the typhoon, so we're currently on time. So those people must be on those impacted flights. I feel bad for them. Here's our aircraft that'll bring us to Singapore in a minute. It's a nine-year-old China Eastern Airbus A330-200 Bravo 5942. It features two Rolls-Royce engines. Welcome on board China Eastern Airbus A330-200 
Business class is reverse herringbone in a 1 to 1 configuration. Economy is in a comfortable and standard 2 for 2 configuration. My seat today is 31 Alpha. The first row in economy, a bulkhead seat. There's quite a distance between the wall and yourself, so plenty of leg room. You've got a seat pocket there. Now for the seat features, you've got a remote controller for your TV. TV and tray table are located in your armrest. Both have to be stored away during takeoff and landing. The table can be folded in half and also moved back and forth. The TV is quite easy to take it out, but it's a bit tricky to keep it up. You have to pull it out and twist right away before it goes down. So down here, just like any other seats behind, a USB port for every passenger, but for the universal power socket, you'll need to share that with your neighbour. The headrest is adjustable, you can move it back and forth, however it's a bit firm to my liking. Blankets and pillows are available on request. They weren't placed on your seat before boarding. Welcome aboard China Eastern Airlines. For your safety, please watch the following safety demonstration carefully. Fasten or unfasten your seatbelt like this. Light vest are stored around your seat for use in the event of water Now that we've taken off, I'll quickly show you the in-flight entertainment. So language-wise, there's English and simplified Chinese. For movie selection, you haven't got too many. I noticed that Chinese airlines generally don't give you much selection. For example, for Hollywood movies, there's only 14. The in-flight map looks new, but it's not interactive. You can't zoom in and zoom out. You will have to wait to change slowly. It's pretty amazing how we took off 40 minutes ago. You can still see a lot of city lights. For the meal service, it was a bit delayed due to turbulence. 
I got my special meal 40 minutes after takeoff. The rest of the passengers are going to get them 10 minutes from now. Normally with your special meal, you'll have to wait for the trolley for your drink. But the cabin crew who confirmed my meal order before takeoff also asked me for my drink of choice. So I went for chrysanthemum tea, a special tea of China Eastern. I really appreciate how the crew offered me a drink before the trolley comes. So here's my meal. I got a bowl of winter melon, a salad bowl, a bread roll, and my main course is jasmine rice and mixed vegetables. It's a pretty good portion for this red eye flight to Singapore. Flight time today about five and a half hours. The flight time is usually shorter, but due to the typhoon, it had to reroute a bit. Here's the salad, by the way. It's potato and lots of croutons. My main course was literally vegetables and rice, so healthy. Now the crew come to start the meal service for the rest of the passengers. A lot of people are currently sleeping. The crew would put a sticker on their seats and it tells the passengers basically if they want to eat later, they're more than welcome to ask the cabin crew. It's a relatively full flight today and I'm so lucky to have a spare seat next to me. Hello there, welcome to China Eastern Airbus A330-200 Economy Lavatory. I'm at the one between the two economy cabins. It's quite clean at the moment and it's a pretty standard A330 lavatory and of course you've got a cook. I'm gonna catch some sleep now, got my pillow and blanket and now I'm gonna fully recline my seat. It's actually pretty comfortable and I've placed my carry-on in front of me so it became my little ottoman and holy cow this is actually super super comfortable. I didn't wake up until we started landing into Singapore and another cup of chrysanthemum tea before we go to sleep. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you made it to this video. I upload a nature report like this one every single week, so be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you won't miss out on another true report. The cabin crew are now doing their pre-landing announcements. I slept for a very good three hours. We've now started our descent into Singapore Changi, and I'll quickly conclude this trip port with China Eastern right here, right now. Our China Eastern journey started at the 137 lounge. It's a massive flagship lounge, and it's a lounge for the airline to be proud of. It's got massive shower rooms, outdoor terrace, good food, a bar and a beautiful lounge in general. Once on board, a friendly welcome from our cabin crew and I got my meal order confirmed pretty much right away and also my beverage of choice. And the crew then went on to provide us with pillows and blankets if we wanted. I think the seat was really good. It doesn't have double seat back padding, but at least the seats were thick. Good recline as well and plenty of leg room if you're at the bulkhead, row 31. It's a new and comfortable seat. The only thing I didn't really like was the firm headrest. Some people might like it, but it's just not to my liking. I had to place a pillow there. For the meal, I really enjoyed my vegan meal. Great portion and very healthy. So today I was really satisfied by China Eastern. Now for the airfare, I paid 1,245 Chinese Yuan for this one-way journey from Harbin, China via Shanghai to Singapore. So it was a three-hour domestic flight followed by a five-hour international flight. So great value and it was inclusive of your baggage allowance, seat selection, etc. It's really rare to find those cheap fares nowadays, but you can find plenty of them from China to Southeast Asia, Europe and Australia. Not so much North America due to the sanctions and also the flight caps. So that's the end of my trip report. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope that you enjoyed. Please like, comment and share and subscribe if you haven't done so. On average, only about 20% of my viewers have actually clicked the subscribe button and I'll appreciate so much if the rest of the 80% would do the same. It'll help the growth of my channel immensely. You can follow me on my social media like Snapchat, Be Real, Facebook and Instagram. On Instagram, I post stories as I fly and on Snapchat, I post stories as I travel at my destination. If you really, really enjoy my videos and you want to support my channel financially to fund my flights, you can do so via PayPal and Patreon. Please check out the links in the description for more information. My PayPal me, Patreon, and YouTube members enjoy early access to my videos and also exclusive access to some of my travel vlogs. Now please enjoy the approach and landing into Changi Airport. After disembarking, I'll show you a cute little Singapore vlog. Please enjoy and I'll see you later. Bye bye.
人们，我们已经抵达新加坡樟宜国际机场，请保持安全带系好，直到安全带指示灯熄灭。下机前，请您再次检查座椅周围，确认已携带好所有随身物品。感谢您搭乘中国东方航空班机，下次旅途再会。Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Singapore Changi International Airport. Please keep your signal frozen until the signal sign is off. Before leaving the aircraft, please remember to take all your belongings with you. Thank you for flying with China Eastern Airlines. See you next time. Welcome to Singapore day one. Tonight and tomorrow night I'm crashing at my friend's home and then I'm gonna fly Scoot Plus to Bangkok. You can check out my Scoot 787 trip report on YouTube, it's already been uploaded. So I just took a shower, now I'm uploading several videos onto YouTube that I edited in China. The Wi-Fi is much quicker in Singapore so I wait it until I come here. It's now like 7am, I'm gonna sleep because the sleep on China Eastern wasn't enough and then at 12 I'm gonna have lunch with my friend. A quick outfit check in the lift. Compared to Harbin, China, Singapore is a lot more humid and hotter. I'm literally suffering right now. We're currently on a taxi to the city. We're currently traveling along the F1 track. It's gonna begin next week. You're okay with non-vegan meat? <laughs> <laughs> We're currently at the Graduate Club at the NUSS, the National University of Singapore Society. Amazing food here. After lunch, I went to Watson's for some moisturizing face mask. It was very much needed after the flight and also that Harbin was really dry. We're now at the iconic Marina Bay Sands. <laughs> oh, like foreigners? Yeah, for foreigners. So, but it has stopped since. Right now, I need to make sure it's my friend shouted me an expensive coffee from the Arabica. I'm obsessed and thank you so much. It was my first time trying coffee from Arabica and since then I've been having lots in Bangkok, Hong Kong and now I'm having the real ones in Kyoto. From... You know there are crocodiles here sometimes, you see them. My friend said there are crocodiles here. Can someone prove that he was right? We're now at the Changi Airport Park. It's a great place to be during the weekend and watch planes. We're now traveling along the runway. Apparently, <laughs> this is the longest straight road in Singapore. Dinner tonight is at Burger and Lobster. And I'm obviously breaking my diet.
It's now day two, more catching up with friends. We kind of knew it. I mean, we box up. Just the box itself <laughs> cost 30k. Just for a few days. Start the main tax. It's, a, it's something a Mandarin will not allow because we force the employees and the guests to interact. Oh, I would love to take pictures yeah. there. And the vibe at night is completely different. Day two for lunch, I went to the Mondrian Singapore Duxton Hotel, a new hotel by the Accor Group. I'm here for lunch with my friend Raymond, and we're going to later have a hotel tour. Okay, let's eat. Hawaii from uh, from Navita. You know what I say is good for you guys to be here. Thank you so much. Enjoy. You to be here. You are Asian, per se. Yeah. But at night, the vibes is fun. You see, the so Sofita is there. That's okay. The rooms in this hotel aren't particularly big per se, but there's been a lot of attention paid towards the design and amenities. And also that swimming pool was gorgeous. The music you hear is all specially choreographed in New York. Dinner tonight, we're at the Umi, 51st floor of the Capitol Spring building. Here you're going to have the great view over the F1 track. Accompanying me are two great Australian friends. My best Hong Kong friend just happened to be in Singapore at the same time. We're now catching up at the Sentosa beach. We went to Calgary together in April. The moon today is particularly big and bright, even though it's not full moon. So that's it for the vlog and to report. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and I really appreciate your viewership. A big shout out to all my patrons and PayPal me supporters. It means that I can travel more, make more trip boards for you guys. You can be one of them and support my work. I have the Patreon and PayPal me links in the description. Thanks again and I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Thank you.